Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if the server DNS address could not be found error you're coming across on your Windows computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before we begin, I just want to have you guys close out and save any programs and applications you have open on your computer because what we're about to do is going to require a computer restart. So once you have closed out of everything, we're going to go open up the start menu now and type in network reset. Best match should come back with network reset right above system settings. So go ahead and left click on that. So before you begin, make sure you have your Wi-Fi credentials saved somewhere. So because we're going to reset our network settings, you, once you restart your computer, you will have to input it back in. So just keep that in mind. So anyway, network reset, this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Select Yes. Select Close. And then, like I said, close out of any open programs and applications and restart your computer. So once you restart, you might have to want to re-enable if, if you want your PC to be discoverable by other PCs on your network. But other than that, if you're using Ethernet, it should automatically be reconnected. Wi-Fi credentials, you need that credential, but pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.